If you've been following the channel long, you know that I love the Bobo VR fans on the Quest 2s. They keep your lenses from fogging up. They just help keep the air circulating inside the headset. Keep it a lot nicer. Well, someone has come up with a pretty obvious uh, copy here. It's called the FQ2. I actually bought this on Amazon and I bought another from a different company that looked different. Same box showed up twice. So apparently this is the new dropship uh, fan that everybody's getting. Let's check this out. <laughs> Tightest box ever. Oh my goodness, that is tight. <laughs> oh my God, let it go. You're gonna have to speed montage this. <laughs> Spent five minutes opening a box. I don't wanna rip the box, but wow. That was a struggle. FQ2 Active Air Circulation Facial Interface Foam. What a name. Seems like a fairly obvious copy here. Oh, interesting choice though. They did not Velcro this on. Or did they? Oh, why? They Velcroed the top part and then they sticky glued the bottom part. So you cannot swap out the pad on this one. It's a pleathery pad. It feels okay. It suffers from the same problem that a lot of facial interfaces have where back here, it doesn't really contact my face. Like I don't feel this touching me hardly. It's gonna put most of the pressure on your cheekbones and your forehead. And a weird choice because they stickied this thing on. No, oh, come on, that's got a Velcro. Okay, they did Velcro the whole thing, but the Velcro sticky stuff just doesn't doesn't hold up well is the problem. So when you try to undo it, it might just take all that off with it. But technically it is Velcroed on. The glue was just not holding up well for us. This definitely seems to be a pretty low quality product so far, but I care more about how the fan functions than all this. So let's let's get to that. Comes with a cleaning cloth. I swear they, they just copied Bobo as shamelessly as they could here. The fan is definitely much bigger looking. Like it takes up a huge chunk of the headset. Comes with a little short cable in case you want to charge this from that, or if you want Want to steal some of your juice from your headset while you're playing not a good idea headset's already got short battery life so it's got low high and off so they made some slight changes to the venting design so on the bobo you can kind of see how the vents work as far as it's pulling air from inside the headset blowing it out and you can pretty obviously see the vents here and how that's sucking up through the top on this one it's covered in a plastic housing but it still looks the same i am worried it's not gonna have as much airflow because i mean this one i can see through there pretty clear that I can see where it's leaking into the headset. With this one, it's very small holes in comparison. Strong enough fan will make up for that, so we'll test it, but definitely a big change there. They also, I don't love the feeling of the facial interface pad that they put on there compared to what Bobo. Bobo's is smoother and nicer. This has kind of a grittiness to it, but maybe they did that so it wouldn't slip around. Let's get this installed. So from the bottom here, it feels pretty good. Even a slight touch to the sides will snap it out. So you're gonna have it coming out in the bottom. After a while, that's happened with the Bobo too. The little nubs in the bottom get a little worn out over time if you're taking it on and off. But this one, it didn't take any time to get to that point. Just immediately from the start, it's doing it. Top snaps in, nice, that part feels good. It's not the most attractive looking thing in the world. It's noisier than the Bobo. You're definitely gonna hear it, especially if you're using the stock speakers and you're not using some sort of headphones. The airflow is substantial though, I'll give it that. You can feel it really moving through. I can feel it on the edges of my nose, on my eyelashes flowing up and through. And that might be due to the fact that they do have some vents down here to allow the air in. The Bobo, the only spot for air to really flow in is around your nose here. And it normally has a nose pad too. I take mine off, but it leaves some space to allow the air. Where with this one, they did add vents. And I think that was smart that they did that because it seems like you really feel the air flowing through there. Also could be just due to a more powerful fan. Cause like I said, the fan is making a lot more noise. Like the Bobo, once you get this thing on, you're gonna be scared to take it back off. Ugh. It does give a little better airflow than the Bobo. I'll give it that, but everything else about it seems cheaper and crappier. There's something in there rattling when I do that. So that freaks me out. The facial interface padding that's not glued on very well, the feel of the whole thing, it just feels cheaper and crappier. I wouldn't choose this over the Bobo by any means. Think that the airflow is decent, but I think if you really want a lot of airflow, you might actually check out the KK Cobb. This one blows in. It's the only one that blows in instead of out. And since my review, they actually replaced the padding that I hated with a nicer pleather padding, which was my only real issue with it. So if you want max airflow, I still think the KK Cobb is the way to go. 
if you want probably the most quality feeling, something that you know is gonna last and be good, the Bobo. I've had them since launch now and they're all doing great. So I trust those. I don't trust this VR Bort thing. They're saying to abort the project right there, subtly. Not for me, but hey, do you have one? Do you have one from one of the many other companies that are selling this same one? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And I wanna say thank you for coming out. I'll see you in another reality.